Monday, 1st of June. Well, I record this at the end of Pentecost Sunday and we had a wonderful time. I'd been part of the district 24 hours of Pentecost praise and worship with churches from all around the district taking part. And we were in church at half past six in the morning, welcoming Pentecost in. And then we had our own service where we reminded ourselves about the gift of the Spirit given to the church, the birth of the church as the disciples had been told to wait for the gift of the Spirit because it was the Spirit that was going to empower them and fill them to be the church, to go out into the world and witness to Jesus. And then I came home and I looked at the news and I saw the protests in America and the protests in Manchester and London because of the killing of a black man by a white policeman in America. And it just reminded me that this is why we're given the Spirit of God. Not just for our own filling, not just for to, so that we feel close to God, but so that we can go out into the world and fight the injustices and fight for those without a voice. We speak with the voice of Jesus, sometimes for those who cannot speak for themselves. And as I was thinking about what to do for this thought for the day, I came across this prayer. This prayer written in the third century, all those years ago, by Dionysius the Great. Dionysius was a Christian convert, and he studied under Origen, another great Christian theologian, and he became Bishop of Alexandria around 247 AD. And he was a bishop in a time when the church was being persecuted and where people were dying for their faith. And this is a prayer that he wrote back then. O oh God the Father, origin of divinity, good beyond all that is good, fair beyond all that is fair, in whom is calmness, peace and concord. Make up the dissensions which divide us from each other and bring us back into a unity of love which may bear some likeness to your divine nature. And as you are above all things, make us one by the unanimity of a good mind that through the embrace of charity and the bonds of affection, we may be spiritually one, as well in ourselves as in each other. Through that peace of yours that makes all things peaceful and through the grace, mercy and tenderness of your Son, Jesus Christ. As the wind blows through my garden, I'm reminded that the wind of the Spirit blows through us and blows through the church. May his spirit blow away the cobwebs, blow away dissension, blow away disunity, and blow us into a place of seeking unity, harmony, love, compassion. May we be the church that God is calling us to be, speaking out against injustice, speaking out for love, speaking out for God's character. You know, this prayer written in the third century reminds us that the church is called to speak for Jesus, to speak for the dispossessed, to speak for those in need has never changed. My thought for today is may we be a church that continues to raise God's voice in a world that needs to hear it. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.